June 11, 323 BC, the mysterious death of Alexander the Great. On June 11, 323 BC, Alexander the Great, King of Macedonia, Pharaoh of Egypt, and King of Persia died at the age of 32 from unknown causes. According to Greek historian Plutarch, Alexander spent the last two weeks before his death drinking and carousing before he was struck down with a fever that left him bedridden and unable to speak. Dodorius, another Greek historian, recorded that Alexander became ill after drinking a very large bowl of undiluted wine in honor of Heracles, and was sick for almost two weeks before dying in horrible agony. Roman historian Justin wrote that Alexander was poisoned due to Macedonians' aristocracy having a history of poisoning their monarchs and believed that Alexander was a victim of an assassination plot. Some historians believe that the culprit may have been Antipater, who was a Macedonian general who served under Alexander and his father Philip II, his son. Cassander would later become king of Macedonia after having Alexander's son, Alexander IV, murdered. Alexander's health was also a factor because he spent the last years of his life drinking heavily like his father Philip II and nursing several chronic wounds he received over the years. The recent death of his buddy Hephaestion put Alexander over the edge because he never really gotten over his close confidant's death. Other historians believe that Alexander may have been killed by natural causes such as typhoid fever, malaria, or ruptured bowels. During the final days of his life, Alexander's loyal soldiers, worried about his health, marched past him as he lay bedridden. He was left unable to speak because the illness aggravated an old wound near his neck. Because he was only 32 years old when he died, his plans for an immediate successor other than his unborn child were never made clear. When asked upon his deathbed who would lead his empire, he supposedly replied, the strongest one. Following an official announcement of Alexander's death, his older half-brother Philip III was named his official successor and ruled for several years until all hell broke loose within the empire.